after finishing the replication just close this close this and now let's discuss few commands related to the database and for that come to start open command prompt as administrator first before using these commands we need to stop the LDS service and for that net stop because for example you want to take a backup of your database but still your software development people are working on the LDS and if you're performing the following operations without stopping the LDS they cannot take the total backup of your database for that we need to stop the LDS instance now come to the first command this NTDS UTIL and activate instance okay now it is activated the instance just type we came into the file maintenance and before proceeding to the next operation first we need to create few folders in D drive but here I don't have the D drive for that I'm creating in C drive only LDS database similarly ds logs now close this now i want to move the database to the folder i have created in c drive for that just type move db to enter okay move database is successful Similarly, for moving locks, type move locks to okay. Move log files was successful. After this, come to the folders open database here it is created the files and similarly come to the logs we got all the encrypted files which can be accessed by the instance only and after completing this which again we need to start the LDS instance
after this I will show one more tool that is DSDP util this is useful for the database maintenance activate instance just type IFM that is install from media now create full for taking backup I'm using this command First, it will create this snapshot. Now, I have a media created successfully in LDS backup. Okay. Quit. By using DSDB tool, we can back up only LDS exclusively by using this command. Now I will show how to restore the data from the backup for that first we need to the stop LDS again run this command First of all, I want to know the instance that I have taken backup earlier. Further, just type list instance instances and here it is showing the instance name and LDAP port, SSL port and where the database file is situated. Now to restore. Authoritative restore. Now it is asking, are you sure you want to perform this authoritative restore? Because it will overwrite your instance. Just click on yes. And authoritative restore completed successfully. And thank you friends, with this I have successfully completed ADLS installation address configuration and replicating the instances created in LDS setup and taking backup and restoring the instances. I hope you like this video.
If you like this video, please click on like button and please share this video with your friends. And please visit my channel IT Board 143 to watch more latest up uploaded videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.